Hey everybody. Uh, tonight we're going to watch my figure eight puffer feed on some snails. I just threw uh, six medium to large pond snails in there. And he's already found them and gone to town on them. So I'm just going to ramble about whatever while we watch the puffer do his thing. He's just a lot of fun. Uh, I've been working on getting this tank cleaned up and it's, you know, clean enough now. The glass is clear enough that we can get a pretty good look at him. So I thought I would just sit here and take a few minutes to get him on video doing his thing. Normally I put the snails in one at a time with a set of forceps and that way he sort of sees them and he knows where to go. Uh, but sometimes I like to just throw the snails in randomly and then that gives him some natural forage activity. Uh, otherwise known as enrichment. There you get a good look at my uh, ghost shrimp trying to get in on the action. I swear those two are sort of tentative friends. I put the ghost shrimp in there originally as a feeder uh, for Butterbean, the figure eight puffer I call Butterbean. Uh, about almost two years ago, maybe a year and nine months, something like that, in the neighborhood of that time period and he survived. He was a tiny little shrimp when he went in there and he has actually grown to full size. Uh, a lot of people think it's pregnant because of the dark uh, greenish look in the, around the belly but it just always looks like that. There really are no eggs in there. I was actually looking today specifically uh, for that because somebody recently mentioned it. See, Butterbean sort of follows him around, gives him the hairy eyeball, the shrimp kind of backs off and goes away and then Butterbean gets back to whatever he was doing, but he does not seem aggressive with the shrimp at all. Uh, if you know anything about um, pufferfish, you would know that a simple shrimp would pose no challenge for this fish to find and attack and eat. Uh, so the fact that that shrimp is still alive is just due to the fact that this puffer here is not overly aggressive. In fact, this is probably one of the mildest mannered puffers I've ever seen. He's downright timid. Uh, in fact, I used to have some other fish in this tank, just some mollies, platties, and uh, I had a rainbow fish in here. And while they were not aggressive at all, they were simply boisterous enough uh, that it just kept him stressed out constantly. He stayed in his cave all day, his belly was dark, uh, he was just not a happy puffer at all. And since removing those other fish and just getting it down to the puffer, and I have five of those bumblebee gobies that you've noticed in there, and of course I have the shrimp that we've talked about, uh, but other than that, it's pretty much Butterbean's tank, and he is a lot happier now. He cruises around and does his thing. He sits in the window and watches me all day when I'm in the room. He's a lot of fun. Uh, we're actually getting a little more natural behavior here since I've got my uh, better camera than my phone, and we're sitting back a little ways with the zoom in, and uh, that allows us to get a little more natural behavior without distracting him by sitting too close to the glass. Uh, puffers are very intelligent fish. They will watch you as much as you watch them. They're very curious about what you're doing when you're walking around the room. And if they weren't so timid as the way Butterbean here is, you can actually get them to be quite trained uh, to be very friendly like a pet. And I mean like a puppy dog sort of pet that will come over to you and uh, let you pet it and everything else. They're very, very intelligent fish. So he's just great. I love him. He's probably my favorite fish, or very much, you know, amongst my favorite fish. I have so many, it would be hard to really narrow down one favorite. Uh, but personality-wise, he is certainly uh, the one to go for. Just look at that face. How can you not just love him? He is the cutest little fish. And his behavior is neat. His, you know, his movement, the way he zips and darts around, the way he investigates everything very carefully before he does anything with it. Uh, his tentative relationship with the shrimp there. Uh, just all in all, this is a really fun tank. It's a little challenging for me to keep clean for some reason. Uh, the algae grows in here very virulently. But, you know, it's worth it for me. Again, I don't really know why it's so much more difficult to keep this tank clean than others. Um, but I really do need to start staying on top of it more. And if you guys really enjoy watching him and liking these videos about him or whatever, that'll certainly give me more encouragement to shoot more video and that will be more encouragement for me to keep the tank clean enough to do so. So that's just a little look at him cruising around doing his thing. That's just kind of how he rolls. That's you know more or less all day long. When he thinks there's something going on in the tank or I'm out and about doing something. Uh, when he's just chilling he just kind of gets up in his cave and uh, you know gets in the shadows and just sort of dozes and sleeps. Occasionally he will 
uh, get up towards the surface and he lies up in the shade underneath of some of the floating plants I have in here. I do have some water sprite floating over on this side and he'll get up in the roots of the water sprite and just hang out in the roots very much like my gudgeons do uh, in my gudgeon tank. So once again he is just a great fish all the way around and I hope you enjoyed this little look at him and see there he's gone drifting back into his cave and calling it an evening. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Uh, thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you real soon on the next one.